Not even 48 hours after Holocaust Remembrance Day, police were investigating a synagogue attack in New Jersey. This happened overnight at Temple Nur Tamid in Bloomfield. Officials say a man tried to burn the facility down with a Molotov cocktail. But the safety systems they had in place thwarted that attack, and security cameras captured these images of the suspect. Security is now tightened throughout Essex County as authorities work to figure out who's behind what the congregation calls the latest act of hate on the Jewish community. News 4's Ida Siegel is live in Bloomfield field with the latest on this investigation. Ida? And Gilma, the discovery was made at 9.30 this morning, but the actual attack happened at just after 3 in the morning. And the attacker was not very successful. No one was hurt, thank goodness. And there wasn't even any damage to the building, but it was his intention that has people here on edge. The front door of Temple Nair Tamid, guarded by police this morning. Detectives actively searching for this man, fully masked and with a Molotov cocktail in his hand. Police say he threw it at the glass door just after 3 in the morning. The fire went out immediately, and there's no visible damage to the building, but the congregation is shaken. Whoever did this, we happen to be the congregation that they chose, but it doesn't it's not about us as much as it's about a general ethos of hate and a general ethos of anti-Semitism. The remnants of the bottle used were discovered by a staff member at the temple who arrived around 930 in the morning for scheduled religious classes for roughly 200 children. She called police. Now the FBI and the New Jersey Attorney General are involved in the investigation. Surveillance video shows the man was wearing a ski mask and gloves. Investigators say they need help identifying him, but they do believe he is a white man. Rabbi Katz says their longtime efforts to increase security worked. We began applying for grants to ensure that our building was hardened. So we put shatterproof screens on our doors and our windows. You'll see over here we've got boulders to make sure that no one can drive into our building. Um, we have panic buttons in our building and security cameras everywhere. But the emotional impact of hate is harder to guard against. I wrote to our congregation earlier today and I talked about the fact that this has been a hard week for a lot of people. It's been a hard week for the AAPI community, it's been a hard week for the African American community, and it's been a hard week for the Jewish community. You can see police are still here at the temple behind me, and there will be an increased police presence as the investigation continues right here throughout the week. Reporting live from Bloomfield, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.